Boy Burnings is back, I will be showing you how to follow the transfer. If you look closely, you can see that I've already um, followed the transfer. I've just made a few modifications. I wanted the, the cross to the T down a little bit further and the curve a little less severe on the edge. This is a 6x8 piece and the Walnut Hollow VersaTool, both purchased through Walnut Hollow. I will be using the universal tip for the entire piece, including the edges. The burner isn't plugged in yet, but this is the angle I use, the very tip against the wood. This is the transfer that we're going to be following. I like to burn around the entire outline and then go back and fill it in. I find it helps prevent smudging the transfer, which can make it harder to follow. The burner has been plugged in for a few minutes, so I'm going to take this random piece of wood and test to see if it's hot enough yet. It left us a nice dark mark and you could see the smoke flowing away, so we're ready to go. I'm resting my wrist on this Sanders block. It ends up being the perfect height to get a good angle on the wood. If you're down too low, you could potentially hit the wood with this part, which is actually still hot, so you'd end up with an extra burn there. So when I'm up a little higher, I can make sure I'm only gonna hit it with the tip, and then it's also easier on my wrist, so I'm not like hovering or anything like that. As I follow the edge, I'm doing small little pulls towards myself, not just one long continuous swoop. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, this is kind of a rough guide and then I'll go back and smooth out the edges later. I'm always pulling towards myself, not pushing away. Now that we've finished outline everything, we are ready to start filling it in. For this piece to fill in, I'm going to do small strokes back and forth just between the outlines. It doesn't have to be perfect because once I'm done, I'll go back around the edges and do some touch-ups. So even in these wider spots, it's still just one big swoosh back and forth. And the slower and harder you press down, the darker it will be. So you try to be as consistent as you can. So I finished filling in. From far away it looks pretty good, but if we zoom in, um, you can see that there's a lot of imperfections around the edges. So what I'm going to do, I then go around and smooth out all the edges. I have now gone through and touched up the edges around all the letters. We are done with the main design. I will be putting together another video on how to burn edges a little bit later, so stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in.